Talk now. Yeah. Okay, I'm here with, uh, this is Rodney Morris. I'm here with Mike Massey, and uh, we're going to play a game that, that uh, I, you know, we're probably going to call Super 9. So, the object of this game is uh, we're going to play 10 racks, Mike and I. We're going to alternate games, and we're going to shoot our best score every game. So, and, uh, so right now, we're going to shoot the uh, solids and stripes are, are numbered 1 through 6. And then the black ball, in this case, there's no number on it. It's worth nine. So Mike has ball in hand here. He chooses whether he wants to take the solids or stripes. He runs them in order. And if he runs out the rack and shoots the, the black ball in and makes it, then he gets a total of 30 points. That's the max you can get per game. So in this situation, he's going to shoot the nine, or the one, sorry, the one, uh, the yellow one. So the, the numbers are uh, uh, one through six solids and one through six on stripes. And uh, so he's going to try and run out. And you get the point value for every number that you shoot. So, so right now he shot the one, so he has one point this game. Then he shoots the two, then he would have three. And then he keeps going. And then if he misses, he gets the points for that rack of the balls that he made. So that's what we're doing. We're just going to play a 10 games. Him and I are going to play 10 games and see who gets, uh, who gets uh, you know, what, what our averages are for the 10 games. And the perfect game is 300. So if you break and run 30 points every game, you get 300 max. So we're just going to play this game and then show people how it's, how it's done. And uh, hopefully people can ha uh, play this at home and, and uh, have some fun with this game. So it looks like he's in pretty good shape. He's got to get back down here for the uh, the six, the stripe six down here later. That's going to be the key shot to get his 30. So he's going to shoot the stripe five, and he's going to try and stay right there. This table's been rolling off. Uh, we noticed the table's not leveled yet because the tournament hasn't started yet. So we're uh, going to figure out how we want to play this. And, uh, and in this 10 frames that we're playing, we have to break one diamond over every game. So the, he started from the side rail the first, then he has to move one diamond over in game two, break from the middle in game three, across the other side in game four, and on the, on the other side rail in game five, and then work our way back across. So every game we can't break from the same spot. Okay, he's ended up with a thin, really thin cut on the six. So, so far he's got... Uh, 15 points. If he makes the six, he'll have 21, mm -hmm. and then the nine would make it. Uh, the black would make it 30. So the last two balls, you can see where all the points are. Oh, he made a great shot there. He went between all the balls. He came back up. He's got a shot on the black. So he's got 21 points here. He's got to make this for a perfect game of 30. Oh. oh, he missed it. Okay, so he's got 21 first rack. So it's my turn. Oh. All right, well, you just this is Fast Lenny on the mic. You just saw Rodney Morris. Uh, well, Rodney Morris in the booth with me, and... Now Mike Massey's going to join me. Uh, it's hard to get back on that eight ball there. She was still a good shot to make it. Oh, yeah. Uh, what would be considered as a... Has this been tested at all? Um, not really. This uh, uh, Saratoga Super 9 game is... Uh, what do you think would... So we don't we don't really even know what would be a low level score. I mean... No, I, I, I would... Yeah. I would expect. Uh, What's that? I would expect it to be over 250 for the, with these. I, you know, I would think it would be over 250. Mm, I don't know. I tell you, there's so many things can happen. Look here. I mean, you know, that that means you'd have to. No, I, don't, I can't say 250. No. It, it means you're gonna average 25 a rack. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Rodney last night did. Uh, I think. 30 every rack but one. Oh, he did? Yeah. Are you serious? Mm hmm. Oh, man. He almost shot a, a perfect 300. Oh. And I'm sure someone will do that, but it's yeah, not going to be something you're you going to see. Of course, neither way, you could have a bonus prep. See here, look here, he's already missed it. So. It's, uh, yeah, it's, you get a few low scores in here. Yeah. In deep yeah. trouble. Ready to hit this ball. Good recovery there. Oh, yeah. Hooked on.
on the three and a half, hey. Or is he? Yeah, it looks like he can make it, no problem. Uh, yeah, we're on a good recovery. Yeah, yeah 250. Uh, I think if you had 100 players in a tournament and you 50% cut, I think about 200 would be, maybe be cut. Yeah, I think you're probably correct on that. And I, I mean, uh, yeah, yeah. On uh, half the field, you know, maybe. Like that's what's needed. You could have like golf, you know, where you can play and you got to make the cut, you know. You know here's a run. Yeah, that's, that's a good run. There. So Rodney Morris with a perfect score of 30. Okay, so I made a good shot there. I ended up getting 30 points in that rack. I made a really good shot on the two after getting in a bad spot. So now in, the set, we're in rack two, Mike has to break from one diamond in, so from where he broke last. So that way not, you can't find the sweet spot on the table. Everybody has to break. You know, from ten, you know, five different spots twice, and every game you go back, work your way across and back across. So yeah, you'll you know, see where Mike moves the cue ball on the break, and you can go left or right. To, yeah, wherever you start yeah. from, you just work your way with diamond over okay. until you yeah. get to the other side of the table, and then you work your way back, and then you play ten, ten racks. Scratch on the break. We haven't, uh, you know, determined what penalty it is yet, so there's nothing right now. There's nothing right now. So yeah, because you got ball in hand anyway. So. It's like playing the ghost. Uh, yeah, you're play, basically you're playing the ghost. You're shooting your number. Yep. You know, it's the same way when you're golfing. You know, you're playing the ghost, but you're actually you could be challenging. You know, a whole field of people. You know, and everybody's you don't you don't know what place you're in. So if you could, you could play a tournament with a thousand people, and you could be like you know 700th place. Somebody could be in second place, but you guys matched up in that round together. But you're not actually playing against each other. You're playing for your score. So that's the key. We want to get we want to get it where. You can play your score, you can shoot your score, and you can you don't have to be, you know, technically playing against somebody that you're playing with. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, and you can play all different levels. All different levels can play together and everybody shoots their score. Just like when you go bowling, you know, you get a family of four playing, you know, the uh, mom, dad, you know, the seven year old daughter, twelve year old son, you guys all play. You guys are all shooting different scores and you guys are all having a good time because you guys you guys all get to play the same amount, you guys get so this is what this is the goal. This is what we're shooting for right here. So Mike's uh, in a little bit of trouble. He's gonna shoot this three. And he might have to run into the four or run into the six back here. So he's got a couple choices what he wants to do. But he's you know he's gonna this is really tricky here. Oh, he could super slow roll the three. And that's what he chose to do. He slow rolled. He hit it great. Oh, rolled crooked. So he's got he's got a so now he's hooked and he's got six points you know this game so far. But now he's he can't see the four. So it's uh. You know, on the bar table, it's a little tricky this game because balls get tied up, they get in the way, so it's not always, you know. Now, are you able to uh, combination? You can combination only your suit. Okay, so if yeah, you're solid, so. you can shoot a two into a five mm -hmm. and keep shooting, or you can yeah. shoot a two into a stripe into a solid. Yeah. Yeah. You know, but but you can't make a stripe and continue shooting. You can yeah. only make a. Whoa! He tried it. He almost got it. So he gets a total of six that one. So Rodney Morris is leading 30 to 27. This will be rack two for Rodney Morris. He just saw Mike Massey who went first. That was his second rack. and get them open, mm -hmm. you got a good chance, right? That was a good person. Really yeah. yeah, he broke them well. One, two, three, four. I'm playing pretty good here. Yeah, he's going to take the, oh, uh, take the two. Yeah, he's going to take the uh, stripe oh, to yeah, the ball. Oh, he made, uh, made a couple stripes on the ball. Another perfect 
like 30. Maybe get a little. And kill it with a little inside. Low inside. Yeah. Yeah. 30 is good. So, your score is 60 to 27 after two racks. Mike Massey uh, breaking in uh, rack three. Yeah, so you see how if you, if you get a good break and you make some balls, you just run like three, four balls, you can, you can score 30 pretty good. Yeah, yeah, you can put it together because uh, last night you played a little bit and I think you did nine of them, right? Yeah. Out of the ten. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was a good uh, good number. Yeah. So, you know, the top guys are going to are gonna shoot good. It's like going to be very rare if we don't run out. You know, ball's got to lay funny here and there. Mm -hmm. So now when we actually start playing this game at a, you know, professional level. So you notice Mike broke from the dead center. Because yeah. now he's getting rack number three. Mm -hmm. So now, and you notice the ball spread a little better from the middle. So, so now you got choice, like always. And that's why I like this game here, because you have a choice. You can dog the decision. You yeah. can you can dog your, you know, your pattern. You can, you know, there's a few things. He's, he's not in a good, bad, good spot because the, the uh, striped one ball doesn't go. So he wants to take stripes because the four is blocking the eight, the black, and the you know the, the solid three. So so he's in a he's in a, he's not in a perfect spot right now. So now when you break from the center of the first rack, then you just go to the right or left, and then you can go back to the center. The and third then rack, you, uh, or no? No, no, no. You go you Mike go across. Broke, yeah, Mike broke from the center of this rack, you know. Yeah, well, it's game number three is in okay. the center. Okay. So then now game number four, he's gonna go to the uh, one diamond over to the side he hasn't broke yet. Okay. He's going. He's, yeah. You're going. All, you're going one way across and then one way back. All right. So that's just to, just to get variations in the break. You know, people break from different spots. So he's looking good here. You know. And like most of the games, you know, down to the last couple of balls. So this one here, you know, the, where the where the stripe six is laying, right where his cue ball is now, that's the spot where you know he's got to get good on this five to get you know the stripe five to get uh, perfect on that ball. So he's got to he's got to go, he's got to go, he's got to go, he's got to go. He's good. He's perfect. He hit it good. And he's got a good. Yeah, because nice now he got the angle to come back across. Yeah, by the second diamond here, he's just gonna pass the one. Just past the side, past the one. There you go. Now he's looking good. Now he just wants to give himself a shot. He's not going to get cute. He's not going to try and get real close to the black. He's giving himself a shot. There you go. Nice. That's a perfect game there. Good run. There you go. Nice run. So after, nice after three racks, uh, Mike Massey's at 57. This is going to be uh, rack number three for Rodney Morris, who's still leading 60 to 57. So I have, he's had two 30s, right? Yeah. I've had a 30, a 20, what, a 25? A 21 and a 6. 21 and a 6, yeah. Yeah, you can, if you don't get a good break, you can get some balls tied up. You might, you know, sometimes it's hard to make a ball and get position on the next ball. It's, Break's really important in this. Yeah, the break is super important. Yeah, I don't think it's a bit. Wait, made the, made the six. The one's tied up. Look down here. The one stripe in one is going to be hard to make. And the two and the three. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So tough. here, he might play the one, two, and break up the three. And then the four will go. The five. Hey, he's going to set up for the breakout here and draw right into it. Yeah. yeah. Good shot. Yeah, the five, the one, the six. Yeah, he might. Stripe here, I'm breaking that cue ball. Yeah, yeah, it's perfect. Uh, <laughs> the black ball is gonna be a little tricky. Really? It looks like he's. Well, he executed that pretty nicely, huh? 
So 90 to 57, Rodney Morris leads, and uh, yeah, that's a, uh, you know, right now you're seeing a perfect game from Rodney. Uh. Yeah, so they're, uh, yeah, you notice, you know, uh, when it's open for us, you know, for the good players, we're going to run most of the time, so we want to, you know, when we start playing this game at a professional level, you know, obviously it's going to be on a bigger table, you know, uh, you know, could be on a 10-footer, could yeah. be on a, you know, really tight pockets, you know, we're going to start tweaking the game and start yeah. figuring we want to make it, you know, simple and easy to understand, yet not to where it looks like it's a joke for us. You know, we want to make it tough enough where you got to play good to, to do well. Yeah, and in, in this new set, you have one through seven stripe, one through seven solid, plus the black yeah. ball. Yeah. Um, do you think that it will you'll use the stripe seven and solid seven for the big table? Yeah, the well the uh, so so that's another game. So this game here, uh, th this all originated from the game Saratoga that was invented here in uh, Saratoga, Wyoming, and this is a this is an offshoot of the game we call in this game super nine and then there's another game when you play with 15 balls and we call in that fast 40 okay so it's the same way that you know uh, and these names are not set you know mm -hmm. probably we might we might come up with better names but fast 40 is because so super nine is with when the black ball is worth nine fast 40 is the black ball is going to be worth 12 and okay. the perfect game is 40 points mm -hmm. as opposed to this yeah, game here is worth 30. Got an extra, yeah so now you run one through seven and the black which is worth uh 12 then and that's 40 points and i think this is perfect for the small table without a question because uh yeah if you, if you had all uh, the full set yeah it'd be too much traffic yeah, yeah you can't run out really super tough then yeah and that's why we came up with this game here like that with the, you know running in order and uh, made an error trouble there. trouble that was a good idea i just hit it just a hair too hard now we don't know what to do with this one so now you got to come up with something creative, you know, and that's what I like about this game. You're going to come up with some bangs, some kicks, some, you know, something. You're going to have to come up with some stuff every once in a while. He's trying All to right. play it. This is okay. a super tough shot. Yeah, so he's going to try and play the carom off of the six. He's going to play the stripe uh, blue, the stripe uh, two, off of the six, solid six, into the side. So he's got to come up, and then he's got to get up for the three, the stripe three. So it's it's like, a, you know, one of them one in a million shots. Or, or not. <laughs> try, so, try. so Mike got a score of five points there. So you see the score now is ninety to sixty-two. Yeah, I hit that hard, too hard. And that was uh rack number four for Mike Massey and this is rack number four for Rodney Morris. Rodney shooting a perfect game thus far. And another good break. Huh. Another good break here. Yeah. yeah. The solids look pretty good. Uh, but the stripes, if you, you can, get on the three, I actually like these these, these stripes better. If you personally, stripes would be good. Well, you yeah. can make the nine, but you can, I guess. Yeah, the striped one ball. Yeah. Oh, it missed the eight a little bit, but it's still over here. Rodney just needs to make the striped five ball here and then the black. And I'll get another perfect 30. Four, four perfect? Yeah, that'll be four perfect racks for 120. So after four frames, you have a score of 120. It's Rodney Morris uh, and Mike Massey at 62.
so, yeah, so we're in uh, frame five for both of you. Yeah, so frame five and six, you'll be breaking from the same spot both games. Because you go one through five, now he's going to break from the side rail on the opposite side from where he started. And then when he starts game six through ten, he starts from the opposite side now and works his way back across. So game ten, you're going to end from the exact same spot you broke in game one. And then game five and six, you break it from the same spot. Game, game two and seven, you break it from the same spot. You know, three and eight. You guys live? Is this right here? Oh. Is, is, is this right or is it over here? No, what game is this? Five? Yeah. You're All the, the end rail, side rail. Yeah, there you go. Yes. We're doing some drawings. We have to pre announcement. Okay, so Mike hasn't been getting very lucky. The only thing he can shoot here is the solids, but then the two balls all the way up the table, and he's got to get on the four. So he's got to shoot the two probably and get on the four, good on the four. So he's in a bad spot here. He's not looking. He's not looking good. He can shoot the ten into or the nine into the two. You mean the, the striped one? He can he can shoot the striped one into the two okay. and get on the four. He can do that also. Yeah, because they're open. Mike, you can shoot the stripe one into the two, and oh, yeah. and then you shoot the four net. You understand? Yeah. You, yep. It's open. So that might not that might be another strategy you can do over there, and then it opens up. You know, he can follow up and hit the blue the blue yeah. two and you know yeah, open up the rack. Open, then it changes. It's open. open yeah. Yeah. So once you make a ball, that's when that's when you decide what you are. See, so now he has to take the solids. He ended up a little bit funny on the ball. He wanted to stop the ball straight in on the four. So now he's got to he's got to hit his. See if he ended up getting on the other side. He's straight in on the four. He would have been mm -hmm. perfect because he could have shot the combination on the five six. Now he's eight's gonna. He got to worry about what that's gonna do. Oh, so you make the eight, you don't get the points. So he's. Uh, do you keep shooting and spotting? No, no, no. You're okay. done. Done. You're done. If done you make deal. it out of order, you're done. So okay. you, you get the points for the balls made without that last shot. Uh huh. So he's got the one, two, three. You don't get made before it because of the fact. So, yeah. Mike got the one, two, three credit for those. So six points. He's at sixty-eight. Eh. Hey, it's weighing pretty good that time with that eight ball and hit the six. And yeah. Down. And you knew it had a possibility, but just well, I knew it was gonna right. hit the six yeah. and knock the six out, but I didn't think it would kiss in the in the corner. You know, I thought it might hit it more solid. That's a tough rack here. Cause <laughs> you make this and break out the. Oh, we're gonna play a combo. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. So he's called the five ball. He's yeah, shooting I forgot, the I forgot one. that you can do yeah. all that. Yeah. Yeah. That made it. Now if he gets on the two. Here. Yeah, and he's got the shot right here on the solid one to come across. Nice angle. That point. That's a good, yeah. That's a good shot to come back around on that. Go right here. So Rodney yeah, was right out there. Yeah. So after five frames, uh, Rodney Morris is leading 150 to 68. This is going into you know frame six with uh, Mike Massey's uh, has been going first. Rodney with a, a you know.
you know, Mike's going to have to get pretty fortunate uh, and start getting some 30s, and Rodney's going to have to, you know, get some really small numbers to, for Mike to get back in this, because Rodney's uh, halfway there and perfect yeah. game thus far. There you go, yeah. So here he's going to have to take the stripes so this, the two doesn't go, two and four tied up. So he's got to get good on the 10 yeah, the so that he can shoot the 10 and 11 in the same pocket. Oh, the, sorry, the blue. Yeah. The blue two, I'm getting you. Yeah, yeah. the stripe two. and The stripe two, and yep. then uh, so he can shoot the stripe two and the uh, stripe three in the same pocket. Okay, so now this is trouble now. This is a big trouble. Now he, got, he didn't get on the right side of the ball. Now he's got to he's got to run into the the black again. He's got to run into the black nine ball again, and he's got to hope. Okay, now he's in trouble. Now either you shoot the combination on the on the black uh, the stripe six, or you try to make this ball. Tricky shot. Oh, he made it. Wow, what a shot. There you go. Now he's on his way. Now he's got that. He's got 15. There's 21. And then the black is making 30. Perfect. So, 150 to 98. Nice run there from Mike Massey. Fat three. Yeah, strike three, barely would go. Man, that was a good run there, Mike. Yeah, need to run from here on out. Yeah, and you need for him to make some errors. Well, I don't, <laughs> don't, don't, don't wish any bad things on <laughs> Rodney. What's the score? 150 to 98. And this is uh, frame six for Rodney. Check this break out. <laughs> Well, he might even though, you know he might yeah, he might even go for the stripes anyway. Cause yeah, just because uh, I mean it's like playing eight ball. I think make three stripes on break and still take the solid. You know. Yeah. Usually you do. Because <laughs> this one will be hard. To, he'd have to make it four and get on the five, and the six is tied up. Yeah, it looks like the five has a pocket, but the six looks pretty even. But pretty the two tight. is tied. The two. He might be. He could figure out maybe. Yeah, he's just got to shoot from the four to the five. Yeah. Right? And the six is tied up, so yes. Yeah, that, that's one. Think he could break it bump out. it. Yeah, bump it out yeah, and then the still stay there. With a, with a five going to the other corner. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. That five over there. He bumped it out at the go. That's a great shot there. Yeah, but the, the black bump, balls. And then you got to bump the eight. Yeah, I think you got to go into it now. And, yeah. And hope to kiss off yeah. the play, which probably will. Oh, oh wow! <laughs> yeah, it was going to scratch. Yeah, it was. They wanted to, huh? And then he gets it off the 12 and gets it. Gets it off the 4, strike 4. And he didn't get the kiss. Yeah, that was a tough one. Oh, nice. I wanted to nudge both of them just a little. Yeah, yeah. So Rodney gets a 21. He's uh, after six frames. He's at 171 to 98. Yeah, so that was a tricky, tricky one there. If I didn't get on the rail on the last shot, I was going to play it off to the four. Mm -hmm. You know, but I couldn't really do nothing. I had to just make the ball there at that point. So we're at rack number seven, the start of it. Uh, now you're six, so you're sec. No, no, not for the center. One, one diamond over. Or game racks, number or six. Rack seven, right? Oh, we're in seven or we're six? We're in seven. 
Oh, right. rack seven. So yeah, you are in the middle. Yeah. Sorry, I broke from the wrong spot seven. in the last game. Yeah, seven is dead lit in the middle. No, 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 no. Sorry, seven is 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 one more over. Yeah, eight is in the dead center. Yeah, three and eight are exactly the same. There you go. So you pretty much go back and forth. That's it. Even yeah, yeah. Out, even out. Yeah. So gate rack one and ten are gonna be from the same spot. Rack uh, two and nine are the same spot. Rack three and eight are in the same spot. Four and seven and five and six. Okay. All those. Yeah. So you go you go from one side to the other, then from that the opposite side back over, and you end from the same spot you started. And ten racks. He came up short here. And yeah, now he's going to have to go inside English and come back up for the side. Great shot. Yeah, he hit that See that nice knowledge side. there? He hit that with maximum inside. And hit the long rail, short rail, and spun it back into the long rail. Avoided the scratch, avoided the kiss, and got perfect on the ball. Still got to worry about this black ball. What's he going to do with the black? The black doesn't look like it goes anywhere, except for the side. Or does it go by that, that uh, the green? The green stripe, stripe six? That might be perfect, actually. No? Yeah, might, I think he's can he go into it? Can he, co go, can he draw and go into the black and nudge it softly? I think that's what he's looking to do, or get behind it. Get actually. behind it? That's, I think that's real tough. That's tough, yeah, to get yeah, behind it. It's tough, actually. Because even if he clips it, he might end up with a shot. Yeah. If he, if he touches it. So we'll see what he does here. It's a tricky one. So he's got 21, and now he's trying to nudge that to the pocket. Oh. Uh, All right. He's so gonna have to I know kick what he's trying to do. Yeah, now he's got to kick at it for the perfect game. Tricky, tricky game here, huh? Oh, yeah. Tough action. Mike's at 21 points. He'd like to get this black ball. You got 21, so you got 119. So the 21, so the 8 was worth 10 points? 9. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah. So the score is 171 to 119. We have to do this a couple of times. Just to get us in stroke for the 10 ball. Yeah. I need to practice anyway. It's good practice. Pretty good break. Yeah, I think if you took a, a pro tournament and hit 100 players, and, uh, I think it would take 200 to make the cut to, to, for half to feel like they do in golf, you know, or something like that. You know, if you had a cut, say, if I'm going to make the, make the cut at half to feel, I think 200 would make it. I don't believe you want to have six more than 51 players to shoot over to 200. I don't know. Maybe 220. Be interesting though. It's, you know, I mean, Rodney is a great. He's uh, yeah, he's, he's a, upper he's echelon. A top, yeah, he's yes. upper. He's and in, in this game too. He knows this game too. Yeah. yeah. So he would be. You he know, be there's the probably uh, might be 20 players in this category right now. Maybe you know. I'm not saying being better, but being there in that, in that, you know. The, of course, the Filipinos, <laughs> they, they move around the balls awful good. That's another, another perfect game. So, Rodney Morris was another perfect rack, and it's a score of 201. To 119, and we're starting rack number eight. 
Okay. Yep. You're leading 201 to 119, Rodney. We're starting rack number eight here. Okay. Yeah. So you see, I got some good breaks, you know, and I, I chose some, you know, I made some good choices. I made some easy outs, and uh, it's uh, the game is fun, you know. But you notice, look, even there was one game where I really, you know, couldn't do anything about. Mm -hmm. So you're going to get games like that. So it's not like everybody's going to shoot a 300 every time, you know, 10 racks. So we're, uh, you know, basically this is just like a beta test stuff. So people, yeah, now get rack eight. He's dead center. Yep. This is rack eight. You're back in the center from where you were from rack three. Same spot. You notice how the balls fly around better from the center. So so when you see us play this week uh, on Saratoga game or, you know, uh, most guys are going to be breaking from the center because the balls break better. He's got a couple. Of, he, he's been getting some bad rolls on the breaks because look, the the blue striped blue is blocked. If that ball wasn't blocked, he's got a wide open rack. Yeah. You know? But now he can see if he takes the one, the striped one, and he can't get on that too. It's very difficult. So when that, then if he takes a solids where the four is, you know, it's a tricky shot to get on the five. So he's looking at it like. So now I would actually say I would take solids because the four does go by the six. So I would take the solids here. Yep. And then I would I would roll the ball up up in between the in between the uh, the strike 14 and the strike four. So this is a key shot right here. He's got to get on this ball good. So he did get on it, but now he's got to. Is it, oh, that's the red three. Never yes. mind. I thought it was the that's orange what I mean. on spot. Our screen. It looked different. Okay, never mind. Well, you still got to get on that on that on that ball. Uh -oh. Did he go too far? He's got a bank. No, I think the ball's blocking. Is it? Yeah. Oh no, it's not blocking. Looks He's got a chance good. to bank it. He's got a chance to bank it. Okay. So he's banking that, and then the five's down there. Okay, perfect. This is a tricky one here. So you see how he can end up with six points, or he can make this, and he can end up with 30. You can see how one shot can mean a lot, right? Oh, that was a great shot in there. He opened up the six. Got himself 10 points. Straight in for his 15th point. You don't have to do nothing tricky here. Just kind of stop the ball. Yep. And now he's at 20. Oh, what's he at? 15 now. Shoot the six in for 21. Oh, oh boy. So, 15. 15 points for Mike Massey. And he's at 134 after his rack eight. And Rodney Morris is about to start rack eight for himself since Mike Massey broke first. Well, I got a good excuse. I haven't played in a couple of weeks. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it's amazing. It's again, I've been playing 57 years, and he still, you got to play it. You know, you can lay off for a couple of weeks and you touch touching the field and everything, you know, for equally. Oh, yeah, and so. I've been doing a video, uh, just made a video for Larry on the 50 shots that every serious player needs to know. We worked on that. And I've got to see a few of them, and they're really great shots. You know, they're 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 shots that are so uh, that come up. Well, they're practical yes. shots. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And some of the shots are shots when you don't think there's a shot there. You know. And, uh, so I'm excited about it. He's done the editing. This will take a little while to do the editing, but he does a great job. Yeah, I think it it'd be uh, definitely fun to see. I'll definitely be getting a copy when it comes out. You'll get a freebie. <laughs> Thanks. Of course, you'll be advertising. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll, put, we'll, we'll, we'll promote it out there. Jump cue. And that's not the way Rodney wanted to start out. Yeah, you know, yeah. that's the first mistake he's really had made. You know what I mean? That, where the, he doesn't like jumping. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uno. One, one so it's 134 to 202, and we are starting rack number nine. Yeah. And so you see there, I had, I had no choice but to shoot the first ball and try to thread the needle for position and all that. Yeah, so there's going to be racks like that where the balls come out weird, yeah. and you can't really choose, you know, either one you choose, you're kind of in a bad spot. So. Right here. 
Uh, yep. Rack number nine. Oh, they're looking good. Looking good here now. Oh, five balls blocking a couple of the balls. If that two ball goes, that might be the shot. The stripe two. And stripes are the one. If it doesn't go, then he's got to take solids. Yeah, so that's what he's debating now. If he can get on the two to the four, stripe four. But then uh, I would shoot the solids here, I think. Only because they're all open. You know, if you shoot the three five combination mm -hmm. and the six goes. Yeah, it's got to be the shot. And you don't necessarily have to shoot the combination. If you get good on the two, you can draw back for the three and the side. Now he would have to shoot the combination. Because he's got the he's got the angle to go right into it. Well, he's got a choice. He can follow it. He can follow it and go back all the way back up table for the three in the side. But I would shoot the three five combo, but he's not looking at it. Yeah, I like the three five combo. Yeah, only because it's so big. Oh, we got on it. That's a good shot. Now is it uh, cue ball fouls only? Cue ball fouls only. Okay. Yeah. Six, and he's gonna shoot the five, and he's gonna get his cue ball is gonna end up about where the four ball is when he shoots the six. Yeah, that way you can kind of straight down, right? Yeah, yeah. well, yeah, we're not hooked on that. Okay, now this is a tricky one here. Yeah, you gotta. Because now the f stripe four is in the way to come straight up, so he's gonna have to come around the ball. So then, then you gotta worry about your speed control now. Uh oh, see. Does that ball bank? Oh, that ball must bank. That ball must bank. Because he played for it. I don't know if he hit it that too, so. He's got it. Table rolls that way, so he's got a chance. Nice. Can he cut this? I don't know. This is tricky. This looks pretty tough. He's going to oh, bank it. Oh, he's going to bank it. Okay. He, he wanted to touch the black, and then he could have shot it in the corner. But he didn't. He shot it so clean. <laughs> yeah. and now he's got 21 points. Now he's got to try to bank this in for a perfect game. Oh, I almost got it. Good try. So, Mike Massey is at 155 for that 21 point run. A little bad on the side. Yeah, this would be a this would be a great game to have a, a big tournament, you know, where you have to test it for a while to kind of figure out what yeah. the cut would be. Yeah, dial in some of the rules and, and some of the yeah, other stuff. Yeah, a, a few bit, little things you know, and stuff. Yeah, tweak it a yeah. little bit. Overall, uh, you, great know, game. You, you know what's neat about this game? You could have a tournament. You could have people if they're playing on close to the same equipment, they could be playing all over the world. Oh yeah. Playing to qualify to go to an area, you know. Uh -huh. That way yeah. they could film it and stuff, you know, and he, you know, he'd say, well, you got to make the cut of, you know, it makes 200, they can come play in this main and main event, you know, and they pay like an entry fee or something. So, Rodney uh, has taken the stripes, so he's got the stripe one, and he'll come across for the stripe two. Uh, he, he's gonna break this break out right now. Here. Huh? Yeah. Hey man, how you doing? Good, how you doing? Pretty good. You doing good? Glad to see you come out again. Yeah, it's good to be here. Yeah, he gets back on. He's in good shape. Playing good. Crowbar. So, 30? Yep, 
232 for Rodney Morris. We're going into the last rack, rack 10 for... It's the last rack? Yep, this is the last rack. I got a low score. I got a chance to get, to get one. 185 is your max. But we will play another one. Oh, yeah. And like Massey says, I want a rematch. Get a good streamer where we both shoot that 290. Go ahead, Mike. Oh, so the beginning again. Yep. That's the last of the ten. So Mike, his maximum here is 185. Okay. Yeah. So in this situation here, uh, what would happen is if we're playing in the tournament, we're not technically playing against each other. So let's say we're playing in a 16-man tournament or something. We'll be who knows what place he would actually be in, you know. So we're, like, yeah. let's say I'm in I'm in the top four and he's in rank 27th, mm -hmm. you know. Then you know, after this round, well, the next round he can have a better round in the next 10 years. So you play that over four days, then you get a good number. He might be able to clip it if he can draw it. Just clip it. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't really see anything good here. I mean, what do you get? The one, two, four, three. One, two, three, four. Yeah. yeah. So he's got the one, two, so he's got ten points here mm -hmm. for his last frame. So he'll be at like 165, I think. <laughs> He's calling a side pocket and try to kick it. Oh, I had a chance. So, 165 for Mike Massey. And Rodney Morris, if he can get a 30 air, he could close it out with 262. Would you slug yourself? <laughs> so basically, he's gonna be trying to create a break shot here and go into the yeah. balls. Rodney with a good recovery there. Good shot. He's got a good opportunity to get his 30 still. Oh, you didn't make these? Oh, that's nice. That's nice right there. Good heavy duty. And that's going to be about it for Rodney. He's going to get about uh, 10 points, it looks like, unless he can create something. You playing this week? Yeah. All right, the six ball on the side, he calls. Yeah, good to see you. Did he make it? Oh, so you got 10 there, Rodney. Let's do another one. So you got 42. Okay. So Rodney ended up with what? 242. 162. Okay. All right. Yeah, we'll do another one there. What was my total? 165. Man. Yeah, it takes, you get a couple of bad racks in here. And... It's a pretty fun, huh? Pretty fun game. It's good, you, great game. I love it. I love it. You could have a, you could have a, you could have a tournament if you're playing on the same type of equipment. You could be playing all over the world. Exactly. Same, yeah. exactly.